Yeah, so hello my wonderful viewers, welcome back to my channel. So today we are back again at the Popolofa beach. So we are back at the beach side here. So we are back with the weekly Sunday cleaning exercise series that we normally do every Sunday. Yeah, so if, it, if this is the first time seeing this channel, my name is Ben Mustafa and we started a new project called Clean the Gambia. We initiated the project basically to inspire people and to like sensitize people to keep their environment clean and not only the around the environment. So that's basically what the project is. Like. So we have been doing this in several Sundays at several several places. Like. So this is the popular public. So this is the twelfth Sunday of the cleaning exercise. So we have done seven Sundays. So today is our twelfth Sunday of the cleaning exercise. So what I will I have to tell the people is that like I want to thank each and every one of you who have been sharing the videos and who have been donating to our GoFundMe. Like I have been seeing uh, some people have been have started donating to our GoFundMe. We really really do appreciate the support you know? and I'm thanking all the people who have been supporting the, this project since day one. You know? So some people buy rakes, some have been donating money, some have been buying breakfast for us. You know? So we really appreciate all of you people. You know? So your support really play a huge part in this project. You know? really really help us like it move us one step ahead so we really appreciate you people so what we would like from you is to like share our go for me to other people so that like we will gather we will attain the goal that we want you know. we want we are raising money so that we can buy trash can and put it in public places so that we are when people want to live they will just go and put it there as other countries are doing that's the way they keep their food. Those countries keep uh, put trash cans in public places when the locals are uh, little and they will just want to live there. So if you don't have trash cans from those places, like, it will be very difficult, you know, to control littering. You know. So if you have trash cans all over the place, like, it will really help to control littering. Yeah, so we will want your support in that. We will want you to subscribe to the channel. We will want you to share the video so that it can reach, reach many people. The more the videos reach many people, the more we can sensitize people, you know. So if the videos are not reaching people, they will not see the message. So you can play a part by sharing the videos to those people. We will need your support in sharing the videos, sharing the GoFundMe links, you know. Telling your friends and family about uh, this project and sensitizing them, sensitizing them about uh, waste management to keep their waste, you know. not to live around the place. You can be our ambassador in your home. You can be your new home and sensitize your family about littering. Let them know litter around. If you do that, if you do that, someone do that, I do that, it will uh, help us, you know. We will attain the goal that we want easily. So as I tell you, we cannot reach the four corners of the country. We cannot run the whole country. But through this video that you are sharing and you playing a part in this, like it will reach the four corners of the country. You know? So we really want that. And also we printed our t-shirts. As you, if you have been following me on my Instagram or in our last video, like we have an orange color t-shirt, we also have this uh, white color t-shirt. So we printed our t-shirts also, because t-shirts are also a way of sensitizing people. So if we have t-shirts, like it can also spread the message of course. You know. So we printed out these t-shirts in the way of it, in the form of sensitizing people. So if you buy the t-shirt, even if you are not attending the cleaning exercise, if you buy the t-shirt, it can send message to people where you are. You know. Like if you wear it, it is written clean the Gambia, clean, clean the Gambia, clean your environment. Like this is a message. It means those people should cl clean their environment and clean the country. So we have these pieces available in different sizes and colors. We will want you to buy them because this also, if you buy them, the money we will use it for transport or doing our other stuff. So buying these pieces will be really, 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 really help us. So as I told you in my last video, we are developing means so that we can uh, send the pieces in all part of the country. So if you are at any part of the country, uh, world, like. If you, if you are in America, UK or any other country, you can have the T-shirt. DHL is there, we can send it to you through there. So you can order the T-shirt through DHL and other shipping companies. So if you want the T-shirt, DM me, contact this number on your screen. Or check the description box, all the details in there, contact me, so that we can see how best we can send the T-shirt to you. You wearing those T-shirts there also will be a form of sensitization for the Gambians or other people around those places. 
we doing this might inspire other people of, in another countries also to clean their environment and to keep, the, to keep their countries clean. Yeah. So together we can do this, together we can keep the country clean, together we can uh, make the Gambia a better place to live and make Africa a better place because if this inspire other people to clean their environments in other countries, it will really, really, really help us. Yeah. So thank you for watching this video. Assalamualaikum Gambia, my name is Ibrahim Aboja, uh, a fourth year environmental science student at the University of the Gambia. Today I joined my colleagues uh, clean the art of the Gambia to clean our beaches, to clean our environment and to clean ourselves. As we all know, uh, a healthy mind lives in a healthy environment. And one of the ways in which uh, we can be healthy is by cleaning our environment. Um, I am urging all those who come to the beach, all those who come and relax, to have their self, to enjoy themselves, please, whenever you eat something, be it trash, be it plastic bags, be it whatever, please kindly drop it at the suitable bins. Because with that, it's easy to pick and it's easy to mobilize and recycle some of that uh, the garbage that needs to be recycled. So I am urging all of us, some of us are even students of the University of the Gambia, some are the Gambia College, some are the MDI and other institutions. I'm please and please and please and please again, I am begging and urging all of you to please take care of our environment. As we all know, uh, there is a saying in the environment that says that the environment is everybody's business. And if it is everybody's business, we all need to contribute towards uh, uh, the development of, uh, of the environment and also the cleanliness of our environment. As you all know, as a nation, we cannot de uh, develop without the environment being clean because we are the future leaders of tomorrow and we have to be clean. And also one of the things is that clean your environment is one of a respons it's a responsibility. Uh, it's, you can be responsible by cleaning your environment and this shows a lot. The younger generation will also take it from us and who knows to what extent this might go. So uh, I thank you all for your, uh, for your kind attention and also please, as I always say, please the environment is, is everybody's business. Thank you.
and uh, good morning fellow Gambians. Today is another session for doing exercise and, and we have done a lot today because our people are many and a lot of people participate today compared to previous ones. And it seems like um, it is encouraging and it is encouraging. Gambian people are recognizing this kind of under clubs or this kind of association to claim the nation or to claim the Gambia. And this is something very vital to everyone. Because I'm cleaning your nation is part of like a citizenship. And I see that is that um, the, the, the youth of this country are, are doing. And especially the, the, the people representing this kind of um, uh, organization or association. And hopefully, I, I know that like, by, by, by time, many people will try to um, understand that cleaning your nation is, is very important. The only thing I will just uh, advise young people is that um, sometimes. It's very important for you to contribute to the development of your country. Because um, if you don't contribute to the development of your country, you cannot say much about your country. And as far as you want to be a good citizen, participate in the development of your country is part of like citizenship. And is that these people are doing for their country. And, 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 I, and hopes one day governments and stakeholders and the important people of this country will recognize this kind of act that is going on in this country, claiming out this side. As Gambia is named, is named Smiling Coast of Africa, they should come and meet something decent. Uh, and is that we are promoting. We want to cleanse our, our major places so that um, the foreigners or people from different countries, if they come to Gambia, they can go home with, with, with a good name. And, and, and hopefully this will continue. It will not stop. It will continue. It doesn't mean that whether you are present or you are not present, this act will continue. And this club is not like a member is registered. No one is registered here. Everyone is a member, whether you are from Bangu, whether you are from Serakunda, whether what, whatever, all over the country. If you want, if you want, you can participate in this cleaning exercise. Everyone is invited, and don't say that this this part, this particular person is registered or whatever. Nobody is registered. All the all the every member of this country are, are, are part of this club. So the only thing is, I will say thank you for the press, for the presidents and the vice president and executive, executive members, and even the members of this club. Um, I am I'm excited and, and, and we will continue doing this act until Gamba become what we want. Thank you. advice for the people that normally use the register. Like whenever you come with your stuff, don't throw it here. As you can see, look at all these places started with uh, balls, like this ever balls. You know. So if you come with your stuff at the bit, please try and control them. You know. Do not leave them around here. Because if you leave them here, who will pick them for you? Look at these ones. I think they are here since last Sunday. So some people come here for a Sunday beach. They left it here and no one picked it. So if you did not pick it, like no one will come and pick it here. So try if you come here, try and like not leave around the place. Bring along a plastic bag, put your stuff in it, and you go with it. So if you throw it here, when you come here next, next for a next pic picnic or next out outreach, like if you come here, you cannot come with your family members here because the place is dirty. You make it dirty, so you you will not expect anyone to clean it for you. If you don't clean it, who will clean it for you? So if you come to the beach. If you want to enjoy your star uh, picnic, try and clean the beach and try and go with your stuff. But if you litter around the beach and 
you will leave it there. Then next time you come, you will not be comfortable at the area because the place is dirty. You know? So try and look into it. You know? Whenever you visit it, try and control your stuff there and go with it. And when you go home, put it in your trash cans and contact your nearest area council so that they can come and take it. For you.